All right, we are rolling and welcome back to the podcast today. We have a very special guest. We have Shannon Williams, the voice of Jet. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. This is this is a probably one of the longest uh, <laughs> times in the making that I've done. I've had for a podcast, but literally there, it was not a problem because it's better late than ever. I just I just wanted to get this done and I know you are genuinely the most requested person that I have. So I and I'm not exaggerating when I say thousands, I mean thousands of do jet 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 just every day in my comments is just jet. So, I'm I'm super excited for this one. I do want to start off with um how you probably explain this a lot of times, mm -hmm. but you are not uh, I don't want to, like, typically, you're not a voice actor, correct? Or right. you haven't been in the past? Right. So how how does one come about getting this job for Valorant? Uh, I mean, uh, I've been doing, uh, so music and singing is actually my career. Yes. Actually what my passion is. And um, I... Back when I was in uh, South Korea, I was actually doing uh, singing K-pop over there for 10 years. And my contract ended. And, um, you know, being a UK citizen, I went back to the UK. And the timing was actually impeccable because I actually received an Instagram uh, DM from a UK agency. And they were like, hey, like, would you be down to... Uh, maybe audition for this game like obviously they can't specify what it is and uh that's actually how it came about was through an instagram dm i was in the uk and they were like hey you look you know you look like you'd be great for this part obviously i i didn't know what it was but now that i look back on it i i understand now like you know i'm bilingual i can speak english and korean and jet's korean she's korean american so it's like it, it makes a lot of sense so um yeah and then uh did a lot of callback auditions uh actually told me that i didn't get the part originally um because they thought my voice was a little too uh a little too young um a little too high-pitched and they didn't want people to feel bad about uh you know killing off this character but i i guess a couple months went by after and they were like never mind you know <laughs> come back <laughs> that's how it came to be i i'm super interested in like where you grew up and like where you've been in the world at at certain times so where did you where were you originally born at uh in the uk okay yeah and I then born in the UK. what what's the timeline on like going uh certain place like moving certain places right so I was born in the UK, uh, lived there until I was about nine years old, I think. Um, I visited Korea like prior because my, my mother's Korean and my, my father's Welsh. So, okay. um, you know, we visited my, my mom's family side uh, quite often and uh, I, my, my mom's friend actually posted a video of me singing uh on like a korean website and we actually had um someone in korea uh, reach out asking if we were interested in going on to this like show in korea you know and 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 it was like a really really big show back then um and from then on it spiraled into korean companies like entertainment uh agencies or companies reaching out and being like hey would you be down to like actually start a serious career over here um and and that's when i like officially moved when i was about like 10 11 uh ish and then i stayed there in in uh until i was about i think tw 20 21 maybe and then uh and then i recently moved over to the states for more work uh last year or two years ago, last year. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how how is that? 
how how drastic is that because obviously i'm i'm someone i've only lived literally in the middle of the united states and right. and so it's it's a different thing especially talking to the voice actors you know you have people over in london or uh australia just different things where they grew up and hearing different experiences i want to know how drastic that is because for you as a, as a, the culture and everything that you've experienced um i mean I, it, it was it was a bit tough um i think uh being so uh like k-pop is very cookie cutter mm -hmm. um very perfect so it's like having to be in this mold of perfection was pretty tough also being you know not fully asian not fully korean was also pretty tough it made it worse um so it, it, the the cultural aspect and all that was you know it, it was um it was it you know <laughs> i've only experienced a little bit of it with my mom but you know for the majority i'm you know, born and raised in the UK, so a lot more free, a lot more easygoing, a lot more, um, you know, even in the States, like, it's, it's very open uh, for, our, I guess, artistic uh, freedom, Yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like, uh, because of that immense stress, actually, um, I, I turned to playing games as a, uh, a, a getaway. Yeah. Quite a lot. So, is that uh, this might be uh, maybe like an ignorant question or something? But is that looked at differently that you're not fully like would you like Korean or is that looked at differently from? Um, I think so. I uh, it, there is a little bit of that. I I know it's gotten a lot like better. But mm -hmm. I know with the with the company that I was with, uh, the CEO would obsess over the fact that um, you know because I looked more uh, Caucasian, um, that like you know me singing a Korean song, even if the pronunciation was perfect, um, you know they would obsess over the fact that it wasn't perfect and I need to be as Korean as possible and. You know, I wasn't allowed to dye my hair other than black or brown. Um, I had to wear, like, I, I have, like, light brown eyes, but they wanted me to wear, like, like black contact lenses. Uh, like, they wanted me to look as Korean as possible, which was kind of tough for me. It felt like I was kind of losing a little bit of my, <laughs> a little bit of my identity yeah. back then. Um, but I know, like, public-wise, it's it's really not that big of a deal, actually. Um, okay. I know within the company I was with, it, it was a huge deal. Mm, I gotcha. What, you said you, you know, you turned to, uh, video games as, like, an outlet or a getaway or whatever the case may be. What, what were those original video games that you were playing? Oh, my goodness. Um, so I am a Legend of Zelda fiend. Like I, that is the, the, the game that I used to play since I was a kid, actually. Um, so I have, I have a lot of tattoos based on that. Really? Uh, yeah, I have the, the little Triforce tattoo right oh, here. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Um, that was one of the games that I really, really loved playing. Um, I think my during all of the work i remember uh my friend actually got me into overwatch i remember that was my first fps uh technically so it was like um that was really 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 fun to play i remember i i play real sweaty uh, <laughs> <laughs> play calm real sweaty <laughs> um i i i absolutely fucks with story games like yeah um those are like something that's like a, a huge thing that i wanted to do i remember it was like wanting to to be able to play a character and breathe life into a certain character um and like you see like so many of these games with like for example last of us or the 
the the most recent God of War, which like was such a flip. It was such a different game. But like like those are just it is it is amazing. It is very powerful mm-hmm. uh, with what these actors and actresses can do in in how they breathe life and in, into the characters. And that was one thing that I I really really wanted to do. I remember, mm-hmm. um, you know. <laughs> but like a, a lot of those little games, like uh, I really like playing. I I love one of my favorite things to do is shed light on how great of voice acting performances are because it's something that no one talks about as much as they should unless like i'm sure the industry does talk about like a video game performance or something like that um more so but i don't think the fans appreciate it as, enough because i i love the the writing on on valorant i love like how intricate everything is especially like just kind of voice lines that you know have different backstories and more to it but like if you just hear it and it can it can really just go in one ear and out the other but there's there's a another layer to that and i do want to say first off before we get on to anything i went through every single one of your voice lines on valorant and there i didn't realize how incredible your performance was until until like i started becoming more appreciative of of that you're actually delivering a performance because it's you can definitely get away with just reading the script and doing that and i'm sure there's a lot of video games that it's just like that but valorant has another layer under it with the lore and everything else so you actually do have to to be the character and right. your performance was great all the, the uh, hats off to the writing staff i know i've said this so many times if everyone's listened to my podcast but the writing staff is great the director is amazing um if, do you I just want to know like how your your uh your interpretation right away of the character when you got whatever cliff notes you got and how much they could first off just can you talk about what you were able to know at the beginning um well uh they actually um gave me the code name it might have been a, a bit of a lead character. I think it was Wukong, I think, was the code name for Jet or Wushu or something like that, right? Where mm-hmm. it was very, very, very secretive. Uh, and all I got was a little bit of her bio um, about, like, who she is, what she does, what kind of personality she does. You know, very, very similar to what voice uh, over auditions usually are. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got a picture, like a, like a little, uh, sketch of yeah. what she kind of looks like. And it was creepy, to be quite <laughs> honest, because back then, my hair was the exact same. When I went into that audition room, I had, like, the little side piece, completely white hair, tied back, like, into a little bun, and I was just looking at this sketch, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, they, they gave me that, and then they gave me a couple of lines, and, um, sorry. It's not! Yeah, don't, don't keep fucking shit up. Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, and then, uh, they gave me a couple of lines, and, and, uh, you know, uh, did a couple of them, and I, they, they never really told me which way uh they wanted me to interpret this character it was more of so like however i read it and how yeah. i interpreted it so um uh they they actually told me that um she was supposed to be timid <laughs> she was supposed to be a little reserved um uh you know a, a little more uh, yeah she's cocky but like not to the extent that she is as of now, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, I, you know, like, I don't, some of these lines, I feel like she could definitely be a bit of a bad bitch. And I was oh, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, like, I, 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 I kind of like this, this cockiness, like, I, I, I kind of fucks with it. Mm-hmm. So I remember, you know, doing a couple lines, and when, when the time actually came to uh, actually, like, record her lines, the amount 
of cursing that was going on in that booth uh, was actually insane. I remember um, David Larley uh, was actually uh, the uh, the main uh, director ar around this and was kind of like, <laughs> would uh, constantly hype me up with, with like, no, add a curse word after every line that you do so we can get that extra oomph into the line and i remember you know the the one of the the lines of like the most famous one with the whole like there you are you little shit that yeah. line was like supposed to just be there you are like that's what it was all supposed to be mm -hmm. I was, like swearing after line after line and i remember david was like we're gonna keep this mm -hmm. if we're allowed to we're keeping this mm -hmm. um but yeah i i remember she was supposed to be a very timid uh, kind of reserved character. Uh, they were also looking for possibly a more mature uh, voice. Uh, but, you know, me being very nasally and high-pitched, I think I think uh, my delivery kind of took them aback a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It was it was great to, to have people give me the creativity space and, and, and make something so cool out of it being like an I, I would say you know you're part of the original characters that released with the game right how when did when did you record for that oh um for the first time sorry i think it was the first auditions were i think when did Valorant come out again? A April of 2020, I think okay. was was the beta, maybe. The auditions were, I think, in possibly like the end of 2018, maybe. Oh wow. Um and and then 2019, early 2019, was like when like we would continuously like do the, the mm -hmm. actual recordings and then it was silence for for so long for more mm -hmm. than a year and i was like when is this when is this coming out yeah like, i've recorded so much yeah um, i i do yeah. i do want to touch on that a little bit is because i love i love hearing the like the because you i would say you had a little bit of a better experience when it comes to because like if you know what valorant is and how big it is and say someone is waiting right now to get right. their voice released and stuff it would probably be a pretty shitty experience because you're just like you have to you literally have to sit back can't tell anyone and yeah. be like i see what this game is i see what it could do for my career, I want to be a part of this community, whatever the case may be, and you just have to sit there. But like you, I you probably be like Riot, you know, they made League, it's pretty big. And this game probably or maybe is going to be a big deal. But like right. you, you don't have to like sit from the window and just watch everyone else have fun, you know? Yeah, it was a, it was a bit tough because like I remember we did. I was I was actually working I had to go fly back to Korea uh for a musical that I was doing at the time and um I remember they uh that's like that's like the time frame where they actually said hey so unfortunately I don't think we're you know gonna go ahead and and work with this together you know we felt like your voice was a little too too sweet too youthful uh <laughs> for the character uh we don't want people to you know feel like you know bad about killing her off because it's such a competitive game is what they were like continuously like emphasizing um and then you know a couple of months later they were like aha psych you know we're, we're uh we're gonna get you back never mind um and i remember i flew out to the uk they did the recordings in the uk mm -hmm. um for about a week and a half and uh on top of the original voice lines with like the whole like spike spotted or like the the whole other stuff uh we would do additional recordings out in korea too that's because it was during covid um i know that they had also uh we were doing like cinematics and and there's like 
there are so many things that we've all done that's just not out yet. Like, yeah. There's so many. I'm still waiting, technically. I'm still waiting for something. Yeah. Do you ever get confused what you like, what you can say and what you can't say? Yeah. I like, I like keep my mouth shut. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> out. So, like, someone will, like, in chat and, like, while I'm streaming, someone will be like, hey, so I heard this, this, and this. And I'm like, how, how do you know? Like, is yeah. this how is this, like, it, information that people know or are people trying to trick me into confirming it like I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's tough it's tough <laughs> yeah there's some things that sometimes i get stuff leaked to me like on accident and i'm like yep. like especially like uh some of the voice actors that aren't like super into the game so i'm sure they don't know that they can't do something like cypher when we did the podcast was like we actually just did something where he's playing chess and i was like uh i don't know if i i'm just gonna <laughs> leave that out and then i like and then you know however many or however long later i see this cinematic where cypher right. just sitting there playing chess, playing chess yeah. yeah and i was like <laughs> i i feel so bad uh you can see my face in the clip where i'm like um you <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I totally understand that. And I think there's a, there's a, there's a level to it. Like, like Gabe, I know Gabe asks questions cause he's like, I can't talk about that. But like I, and then Miranda is like, I don't know anything and I'm being serious. I have no idea. So there's okay. definitely levels. I think it would probably be better if you just didn't know anything. So you're not like constantly thinking about it, you know, I, there are. There are certain things that they deliberately don't tell us. Mm -hmm. um, obviously for the sake of making sure it doesn't get leaked by accident, but also uh, I think, you know, I, see, so I, I'm i like obsessed with like lore. Like I oh, yeah. read, like even mm -hmm. with League, I, I used to like delve deep yeah. into the lore. Right, and they have so much lore in League. So I was like, you know, if they have this much, like, like fuck, like they're gonna have so much for Valorant. Yeah. Um, and I was like so excited, but I know they were so vague about it. They were like, <laughs> oh yeah, so like they would only, uh, you know, if we were doing a cinematic, like I know that they would deliberately only want to focus on the cinematic and like why the cinematic's happening. Mm -hmm. you know? very little bits and pieces on purpose like i'd ask and they'll be like oh you know well that that's that's for uh that's for next time is like what they would always say um and uh, with the cinematics though they always change <laughs> they never stay the same like you'll record uh you know a good chunk of like grunts and like running and and, and lines and stuff but uh, you know, the, the, the whole scene does change after a while. Um, they do tweak it. So like my memory of like, uh, Jet, uh, it was actually holding an op for, uh, the whole Yoru, I think cinematic that was, mm -hmm. um, but they completely changed it. Uh, she was like holding an op and like, you know, saying things and like very assertive as she usually is. Uh, but like when the cinematic came out, I was like, oh, this is very different. <laughs> this came out very differently. Um, so like, even if we know the, the final outcome is, uh, unknown to all of us. Yeah. Know. How is it? And if you're, I don't know if this would be something that you wouldn't be able to say, but right. how do you get, do you only know like a certain character that's coming out? If like, maybe you have you have to do a cinematic with them or or with that character i don't mean to say just him uh but like say like ko did you know that like gabe was joint like it was gabe and everything like in the character and stuff about him or is it just completely unknown or um well actually uh, there were Fuck, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, there's so much. I yeah. remember they do call back to do, you know, additional voice lines for like newer characters and, you know, just to kind of upkeep with yeah. the 
the the time so uh, I know that they added like more back then they added more lines for Sky I believe and that was the first time I heard of that character mm-hmm. um, I didn't know what she looked like uh, you know they gave me a brief explanation of what she does you know what she you know what kind of role she plays um i i do vaguely remember another one i don't know the name because sometimes they deliberately put code names on them (laughs) um and i will only know the name for sure if i have the name in one of the lines Mm -hmm. right if not then like they'll deliberately just put a code name there just so that whether it's because they don't want me to know or because they haven't decided on a name yet i'm not quite sure Mm -hmm. um i remember with yoru uh actually they had me do i don't know if it ever came into the game at all they might have scrapped it but i know that there was a whole thing where i would uh the agents would do like lines to tease this new character that is about to this new agent that's mm. about to join the roster what is <laughs> ma'am sorry give me a no you're good you're good is that, a, is that ma'am sir you can't be messing with this oh. <gasps> i'm sorry <laughs> no, you chill, you chill. Um, oh yeah, but like the whole Yoru thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, they uh, they were like they were doing like voice lines that would tease like a little bit of his lore, where it would be like um, you know, like oh, like this 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 new kid like apparently uh is able to teleport and like someone messed with his grandma and he like decided to do this and this and that. Like I don't remember the whole line. But it was something along those lines of, like, someone messed with his family and he got real pissed about it and, like, mm-hmm. he sounds kind of dangerous. Um, but, like, you know, that's probably the only way, like, uh, we'll ever know about it is whether it is through a cinematic or whether it is through just additional voice lines. Yeah. Context. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people always ask me, like, you know, do you know who's next? Do you know what their name is? Do you know what they do? And I'm just like... Even if I knew, like, I wouldn't say anything, but I genuinely don't know unless I'm included in in something, right? Yeah, I think I, so there there has been stuff in the past, like I said, that I've got leaked or, or someone has said something to me. And I just want to know how you get through knowing something that a lot of people want to know or would die to know or just right. something something that you can't say because at some points like things that i can't say makes me go insane right and because i'm i'm very new at it because you know just 12 months ago no one gave a shit about me so and then now now the things are starting to happen and things are changing i just sometimes i can't take it but i want i want to know how you how you deal with that i um i just think about the possible lawsuit <laughs> and i keep my mouth shut <laughs> um no <laughs> uh, and, uh, that, I mean, that's also one of them <laughs> that's so good um no but i also you know just like i don't want to ruin like excitement for something yeah that's that's like my my go-to is like you know like people are going to be so excited for this and when it happens it's going to be hype and it's like if anyone were to leak something before it was even released it'd be like less exciting because you you're Mm. already you know aware of of yeah um i think that's that's what it is it's like i like to think of it as if you've watched this like anime or the show or the game right and there's like a particular cutscene that you you were like taken aback by and it's like you're you're you know, kind of forcing your friend to watch this or yeah. play this game, and mm-hmm. you're just like, you have to keep your mouth shut, otherwise they yeah. won't get the same effect. Yeah. Right? That's, oh, that's yeah. how I like to think of it. That's good, though. I mean, it's just... Sometimes, it's just really... It sucks being, like, someone who... Like, the majority of people don't know, and it's hard to... It's not hard to keep your mouth shut, but it is, like... Sometimes you think about stuff and you're just like, oh, wow. Or someone will say something and then that'll trigger 
in your head and you just have to be like I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I do want to say I, I, I did. I don't do a ton of research. Not the fact that I'm not prepared. It's just that I want to have a genuine conversation when I do these right. podcasts. Um, but I did. I, and this isn't the first time. But I was watching your some of your songs and your singing oh. and stuff like that. No, it's not. It's not embarrassing. Don't, I don't know it. But you, your voice is amazing. Oh my god, thank you. It is so good. Even though I'm, obviously I don't really understand some of the stuff that's going on. But it was, it was, at, it, the sound was amazing. Oh my goodness, thank you. Appreciate it. How, so are you working on music right now? Um, I'm slowly getting back into the momentum of doing that actually. Uh, I, I kind of lost a lot of that passion um it like loops back to losing the identity uh, of mm -hmm. being, being in such a cookie cutter system i i wasn't really able to do music that i i wanted to do um and uh you know like i'd have so many ideas and that kind of got stripped away from me so fast um so i'm you know i i took some time while also doing like this amazing uh, you know, experience with Jet and, and more voice acting stuff, right? I was just kind of like taking some space and some time to kind of reignite that passion for it. So I've been, um, I've been slowly getting back into the momentum of things. Um, I know a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people who know me usually for music are, mm -hmm. are always pestering, like, why, why aren't you doing music? Why, why aren't you writing songs anymore? Like what's happening? So um yeah definitely getting back into that mm -hmm. that's good that you're able to to are, do you think you're like is it like kind of like rediscovering a passion at all or is it like are you just you know just trying to get you still you still love it and right oh for sure yeah for sure. Okay. um i mean because of singing actually it was a lot uh easier to to voice act mm -hmm. i think um, because there are, you know, certain intonations that they want and, you know, they'll explain like, hey, we want it to be a little more breathy, but also a little more, uh, you know, a, a little more force into a certain word. And then, like, I can understand that because it's like I'm manipulating my vocal cords the same way that I would if I were singing something. Yeah, so that definitely helped me out. And it kind of it kind of it was really, really fun uh, to be back in a, a studio and, and actually be having the time of my life. Uh, and I, I think that also, you know, thankfully pushed me back into that passion for, for making more music and, and finding my, my color for it. Are you still making like, uh, like Korean music or like, are you, what are, what language are the lyrics in now? Um, I mean, uh, probably do English. I mean, English is my, my first language, uh, you know, so, um, it was actually the other way around when I was in Korea, I was like <laughs> forcing myself to, to, uh, sing in Korean and, you know, even though it is, it is great and all, um, I know I actually had a lot of struggle. Uh, my vocal cords were actually suffering quite a lot because uh, when we learn how to sing and when we learn how to speak, we we also subconsciously have our vocal cords uh, learn a specific way of making a certain sound. Um, and when I was singing in Korean, that actually did quite a lot of damage because it's such a closed uh, language um, that it was it wasn't freeing the the voice within me, I guess. So uh, I think this time around, I'd probably go ahead and. and write music and sing in english oh well, i'm excited to, i'm excited to hear some stuff that you put out <laughs> um there is there is a question that i know you get a lot mm -hmm. and i i'm sorry but i'm going to ask it anyway <laughs> i do want to know if it was if it was or how weird it was to hear yourself in the game <laughs> and i'm sorry <laughs> but I, no it's fine uh no, I the reason why I don't <laughs> I don't answer that anymore is because I've answered it so much. Yes. Um, but it's like, 
you know, I don't mind, I don't mind it at all. Uh, I think weird would be, I don't think the right word. I think okay. it would just be like, uh, it was just so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's cool so too. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was just so cool. I I remember like, ah, man, like people think it would be weird. Uh, it's not because I mean, not only just voice acting, but also you know, from my original career, which is singing. The whole point of it is to you know, constantly monitor like how you sound and the same mm -hmm. voice acting. You'll hear the playback so much yeah before it's even released to the public yeah um you know because they'll they'll pick and choose they'll be like hey we want you to redo this line but like kind of similar to what you just recorded and then they'll play it back then i'll do it again mm -hmm. it's it's not weird to hear my voice i already don't like how my voice sounds to be mm -hmm. quite honest um i sound like a 12 year old boy on recording um but uh, to, to have it in game with like the motion of like jet actually moving was so cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, people are like, oh, how does it feel when you like get an ace with jet? And I'm like, it's great. Cause it's like, I don't have to talk because I'm already technically talking. <laughs> like, I yeah. Don't have to say anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was just so cool. Uh, I know when it first came out, my, my friends were so confused to if I was talking or if Jet was talking, you know, because I'll like ping and I'll be like, you know, Jet will go here. And I'm <laughs> like, you know, get here, 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 here. And then they're like, who is talking? <laughs> yeah. You know, so it was pretty really cool. I do, th I do understand. I mean, I, I understand on like the way minuscule like a scale of that because like also when i now when i hear people that i've talked to for right. many hours i i really can hear under and i can hear their voice and i can right. hear that so like right. it's not just like i don't i don't hear the kit like the character i i always just my in my mind instantly just thinks of the person so it's right. like it's a weird now but i think it's the coolest thing ever and also i love to tell this because i think it's so like cute and funny that my mom will hear the end of a commercial and it, it'll be gabe's voice and she loves it she oh my she's like that's gabe like and i'm like yeah mom yeah he's, uh, he's such a sweet yeah person i really love him yeah uh, honestly I've never, well, I, obviously, I'm, I've never had a bad experience with, like, the all of the Valorant cast is so awesome. They're literally the best people. And I, I've became pretty good friends with a couple, like, Miranda, me and Miranda text quite frequently. Mm -hmm. And me and Gabe are pretty good friends as well. And, and everyone is just so sweet and like genuine people and like omen jason he he watches my podcast and he'll tell me that they're really good or something and i'm like what what is my life like where <laughs> where omen is watching my podcast and telling me i did great work so oh my goodness. but yeah I, I know we were planning on doing like a online meeting all the voice actors actresses together at some point so that'd be pretty cool yeah yeah i know uh i did my last podcast i did i did uh with reyna uh and she was like it was telling me that we should get people together and play valorant together yeah, that was and, good. and then i was like and she was like yeah but you would have to teach me and i'm and i i'm like i texted gay but i was like should we play valorant me you and reyna <laughs> like and he was like, yeah, let's do it. And then to think like that I would be playing Valorant with Reyna and KO. And so it's just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be a great idea. Cause I know, I mean, not only would everyone absolutely love if the Valorant voice actors played Valorant together, but I think it would be a cool experience to watch and yeah. stuff. 100%. Uh, I do want to, uh, sprinkle some voice lines here and here uh from now on um 
what what is the most requested one that you get do you think it's always the the um the there you are you little shit or the uh the um it was the sova one i think so, it was uh, the um that it was something with the drone it's the um Oh, it's the why is it so cute one? Is that one? Yeah, it was that one. Uh, I still can't get over that owl, Silva. It's so cute, or, or it's too cute. Why is it so cute? Oh, how did I, uh, I can't get over that owl, Silva. It's too cute. Why is it so cute? Like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really want me to do. Yeah. Um, or the the classic, the aw, sorry, pretty boy. Like that's always. Yeah. One. I love uh, it. <laughs> I mean, are there ones that you would like to hear? Yeah, I was just, I, I always like to ask what what ones you guys get requested all the time. Um, there, uh, oh, there is one that's, uh, that is it, it has, does she say lines in Korean or like like a word in Korean or something? Oh yeah. Um, it says it something about yeah. Feels like just yesterday I was chopping and then it has it says chopping Korean wild chive, like oh, at, in the palette, palette, yeah. yeah at the store. Wonder if that place is still standing. Um, fuck. How did the first part go again? Sorry. Feels like just yesterday I was chopping. Oh okay okay. Feels like just yesterday I was chopping talent at the store. Wonder if that place is still standing. <laughs> how how do you feel about being a representation for a culture, um, and bringing in something that like you know people like around in the United States or even just other countries that wouldn't be normally exposed to right. these these certain things. How how do you feel about representing? you know, that part of the world and, like, a part of your culture and stuff like that? I, honestly, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I never felt like I fit in, and I think that goes for a lot of um, mixed kids. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, being... Uh, I used to call myself, like, the half-half chicken, which is, like, a, a cuisine in Korea where it was, like... You have like one half soy sauce chicken and one mm -hmm. half fried chicken. And that's what I felt like I was since I was young because it was like I never really fit in uh, a group of people. But, you know, the older I got and especially with uh, having the amazing opportunity to, to, to voice Jet, it was like, you know, I, I don't need to fit in anymore. Like I can represent both. Yeah. And, and be able to, to shine with both. So. Um, it's, it's so cool to, to have given, have been given like this, this opportunity to, to go ahead and, and, you know, be fully Korean, but also, you know, have like the mixture of like the, the Welsh in me. Like it was like, it, it was, it was nice to, to represent, you know, uh, my, my mom's side and, you know, my, my Korean family as well and, and the culture as well. Cause I know a lot of it is based uh off of uh korean entertainment um and and it's nice to kind of not just be through k-pop but also through now gaming and yeah so yeah it's, it's pretty cool how much did they um did they did they ask you to specifically like put your own style or like sell like words in there or like uh how much did they ask you to bring when it comes to knowing stuff about your culture and like how things should be said or anything of that sort um what, uh, what to the to the korean or yeah like into the character uh, in a way um i mean that was kind of left up to me a little bit more mm -hmm. uh but i know that the uh i don't even know if this is allowed to be said uh but it's like the korean riot area probably don't like the way that I do it just because it's not uh you know for example like when you watch anime or like uh, wh when you put the difference with you know Japanese dub with anime and then English dub 
Yeah. Right. It's going to be different because we put emphasis on different words and they, you know, they may be similar, but they mean something else kind of thing. Right. So it's like with with English, you have to be over the top. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in the same uh, manner of what, you know, anime would kind of sound like. Mm -hmm. right? So it's like I think it's the same concept with uh, <laughs> the Korean side is is because I'm so casual when I speak Korean because I speak Korean normally. I don't really know the in and outs of how to voice act in Korean. Mm -hmm. Probably a completely different field that I just don't have the chops for. Um, but with, you know, with English, it's a lot easier because, you know, I don't, I, I can understand like the tonations and then like how you would speak and how you put emphasis on certain things and make it more impactful. But that's probably why. That's probably why I wasn't allowed to do much Korean like voice lines. Because like if you look, Jet doesn't really have a lot of Korean voice lines. Mm -hmm. Um, the only like proper time I was ever like able to do like Korean voice lines was the first cinematic with Jet and Phoenix. Um, was you know me speak Korean. That was like the only line I had in that cinematic, and and like in the the newest one where, uh, it was just me being like, you know. Oh fuck! Like basically that, but like in Korean because she was losing a bet with Yoru in that new cinematic. Like <laughs> there's certain parts where she does say, it, but I was kind of I was a little salty because I see Yoru and it's the same voice actor for the Japanese because I play the game in Japanese. Mm -hmm. like, my my little wee part is happy about it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you hear and he's the exact same person. He just speaks Yoru. In fluent Japanese, and then he also does the English mm -hmm. dub for it. And I was like, "Damn, bro! Like, I'm the only one that didn't get to do both. I'm so <laughs> sad." Um... <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, I is that would that be something that, like that you'd be interested in? Is doing it in like another language? Oh, hundred percent. Like I, I mean, I didn't learn korean and polish it you know mm -hmm. perfect like perfectly for you know for more than 10 years for nothing right like i i speak it fluently I, it may you know maybe the tonations are a little bit different maybe it's a little too casual but it'll be pretty cool like i you know i i am bilingual i am also half korean and i'm playing the part of someone who is korean so it's like you know um yeah, it makes me sad a little bit sometimes, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I like the, uh, the, I got your backs, just, you know, from the front. <laughs> I got your backs, just, you know, from the front. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, I know she was supposed to have... Originally, she was supposed to have a bit of a Korean accent. Um, so in some of the more like original lines, she does tend to have a little bit of an accent. Like for the ex for the ex for example, like the line that we just did, like the whole front is like a little bit closed because they want her to kind of sound a little more um, Korean. But I was like, you know, I I don't think. That's great because I feel like it'd be better to, you know, we live in a, a day and age where people are so commonly bilingual or multiple language, yeah. languages, right? So it's like, I, I you know, I, I feel like putting too much emphasis on that would kind of, would come off a different way rather than honoring that. So mm -hmm. um, the the more... The, the 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 more recent voice lines if you hear they're definitely more fluent english than than the the uh, older ones mm -hmm. um when i don't know okay let me just start over on that one i uh on my in my comment section a big thing is people think that i don't i don't actually do this and that this is fake and then I I take Carolina's videos and I right. crop my face over it, right? Why? I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't make none of none of the uh videos are the same obviously cuz I don't do that. Um 
and so like no one's wearing the same clothes most of the people aren't even in the same setting right. as as the videos and so i was wondering if there was how do you know like when i come to you and say hey i don't know how many i how many voice actors i had on at the time mm -hmm. but when i say like hey i've had six of the valorant voice actors on my podcast and i'm pretty sure my first time that i asked you was through your stream right how do you know if i'm did you just take me for my word or is there is there not even a doubt in my mind like if the, if i'm claiming that that that's that's real oh i uh i when you first approached me yeah oh i like uh I looked you up, I think, just to, just to, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that was, that was pretty much it. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Like, I, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Cause like, I don't, um, yeah, I mean, like, I think, I think it's just already humbling to, to have someone reach out that's like interested in you and interested in like the, the, the work that you've done. Um, you know, because it, it's like, it's, it's really humbling to have people come up to you and be like, you know, we, we, we love the, the work that you did for Jet and, and, and it, it was, it was a great performance and then having a lot of people acknowledge that, you know, it's, it's such a humbling experience. So yeah, I was like totally down. Okay. That's, that's awesome. I appreciate, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, we'll get a couple more voice lines in here and then, uh, then we can, then we can wrap this up. I just, the worst thing in the world is getting off of this and then being like, oh damn, I wanted that voice line. So I want to make sure I absolutely have none of that. Um, uh, oh, oh, I'm hungry. Anyone hungry? Lunch on Brimstone after this. Anyone hungry? Lunch on brimstone after this. How much is that to... How much do you feel that is to... Ch is there changing your voice at all? Um. Mm. Well, I mean, my whole American accent in general is also, like, completely fabricate fabricated anyway. Um, yes, because don't you have a British accent? Yeah, I mean, Jet was supposed to be british originally and then they changed <laughs> we changed to american is it is it a lot to ask if i can hear some some british no. talk um fuck uh um for example uh <laughs> what just happened <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> no I, like, it, it's not really a huge deal for me to change uh my accent on and off it's not really a huge deal i think i'm just trying to remember the voice lines that we did with the normal accent. Oh, I um, think British Jet might go viral. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, no, I, we did. So I did a couple. Of, I did a couple of voice lines. The audition with my normal accent, and I remember. Um, I think they wanted it to be more American, just because it's it glided off a bit better because she is cocky, right? And like having a, a bit of a, a British accent might sound a bit too proper. Um, so I I know that um. For example, like, uh, what, what's, that, what's another voice line? Do you know any of the original voice lines, like the more older ones? Um, I mean, they don't really separate them, but what could we... Oh, 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 uh, for example, like the, the main voice line that was in the auditions a lot was the whole, the, the wind, show me where to go. That, that voice line was <laughs> yeah. a lot there. So for example, with like the British version would be like wind show me where to go like was the original uh auditions or like um no watching here 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 enemies at a like it was <laughs> it was originally all british <laughs> uh and then they were like ah maybe maybe we should try it with an american accent um do you uh, is your like do you think about when you're gonna do like I mean, we just did 45 minutes of the podcast with like an American accent. Like how I don't understand how this is like, I knew that because I've heard you do that before, but right. hearing it in my ear, talking to you, having a conversation, because that was just like that. It was one word, yeah. then the next, and then it was completely different. 
So are you th are you thinking about like I should like I gotta pronounce these words this way or is it just automatic? Um, I mean, it, it's not. Uh, I think the reason why I keep using the American accent is just so um, that it sounds as fluid as possible because a lot of the uh, auditions or even for you know the the more recording for jet are uh, expected with an american accent and i don't want it to sound uh fabricated at all um so actually it's a little bit flipped now like i, I don't have a, a huge problem with uh speaking with an american accent now it's, it's kind of the opposite now that i've used it so much that I have to think a little bit about how I pronounce with my British accent now, just because I'm surrounded by so many Americans <laughs> and everyone's speaking with this American accent. Um, I know uh, if I'm around like other other British people, it's it's a lot easier to kind of maintain my my normal accent. But um, uh, yeah, I don't really think about it too much. Uh, it does come naturally, uh, especially when I get angry. When I get really, really angry, um, <laughs> my <laughs> British accent pops out quite often. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain words with the American accent that apparently I just can't pronounce fluidly. For example, everyone likes to get on my, my fucking ass about it, which is the against. Mm -hmm. When I say against, I, I pronounce it the exact way I would if I was speaking with my British accent, against. In like an American accent, I'll be like against. I'll I'll say the same thing, mm -hmm. and people will be on my ass about it. They're like, "Why are you Why are you pronouncing it this way?" But, um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool to be able to switch it on and off. It's like a party trick at this point. <laughs> uh, finally, this is like, or this is how I like to win. Finally, this is how I like to win. And then we're gonna win. No other, no other option. Let's go. We're gonna win. No other option. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you're you're so talented, and I I appreciate you finally being able to do this and <laughs> getting it done. Uh, I didn't I didn't want to. I'm I'm glad that we actually got to do this. Um, and and got to put this out because, like I said before, I, I don't think I could take any more of people telling me that I need to get Jet on the podcast. I couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, you, you are such a sweet person. And I've, I've said this before about just watching you. I, I've always thought you were very sweet and very nice and talented and all this. Um, so I, I really, really greatly appreciate you being able to do this. Oh, I, I thank you for all the kind comments. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you reaching out. Um, like I said, it's it's always humbling, and it's always a, a great uh, experience when people are like, oh, we we love the work that you did, and like want to know more. Like it's it's so cool that like we all get to nerd out over, mm -hmm. over something we all like. So yeah, I, I appreciate you uh, having the patience too, because holy fuck, <laughs> I, was like, I was going through a whole fiasco. Um, and I felt so bad every time I wanted to like make sure I get it done. I was like doing something else. So I appreciate your patience, and we we finally got here. Mm -hmm. um, and it was it was great. Mm -hmm. I do. I have one last question mm -hmm. for you. You you watch anime? I do. Okay, so I've tried, and that I can't super get into it, but I will take. What is a good starter that you, it could be a couple and I would, I would just love to hear it from you. If I'm going to watch one or m multiple, what should I, what should I look for? I think the most, okay. The questions I'll probably ask you would be, are you into like more action type or are you more of like the mellow more romantic type or you know because there's there's a lot yeah of yeah um i would say i'm a big like superhero guy so i'd say action okay um well i mean the most mainstream i don't like how mainstream it is 
I, I used to read the manga, actually. I finished mm-hmm. the manga before the whole animation. But uh, the biggest one I'm, I'm sure you've heard of, or po- maybe possibly you've watched a bit, is like Attack on Titan. Okay. Was, uh, when I read the manga, I know they took some of the details out, but the manga's actually very good. And the, the animation actually kind of held up to that standard mm-hmm. as well. Um, very, uh, it's very much like a, you know, like superhero-esque type of thing, except it's, um, it's, it has that bit of spice where it's like, uh, a a little more realism to it, where it's like, you know, it's not the very cliche, like, I'm gonna save everyone and we're gonna be fine. No, there's like people dying left and (laughs) right. And it's like it's it's very like up in the air, mm-hmm. um, very very well written. Uh, Attack on Titan is one of those, even though it has like a uh, a reputation for being way too mainstream. It is very well written, very good. Um, if you like something a little more lighthearted, more comedy, uh, Love is War, Kaguya Kaguya Sama, Love is War. Mm-hmm. Is very good to watch it's about um two i think high schoolers that are way too proud uh and they want each other uh to confess their love first and it's very comedy Mm -hmm. it's very good um food wars is something that's very good if you haven't watched if you are down for food if you like food (laughs) Food Wars is great. It's <laughs> it's actually um, drawn by a hentai artist, <laughs> <laughs> but so there's a lot of uh, a, a lot of um, a lot of titties everywhere. But uh, they actually did extensive research for food, um, so they make sh- they made sure that whatever they're writing or, or you know making in the anime is actually a hundred percent factual. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause it's 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 based off of the the protagonist who is you know trying to become a better chef um and you know is doing all these like uh, different things in the the academy that he's working in that's also a very good anime um there's a couple because i'm sure it will it will sprout out quite a lot once you start watching mm-hmm. um uh yeah i i think attack on titan is definitely more action based a lot more the music is phenomenal. Voice acting is phenomenal. They're very, very, very famous voice actors and actresses in that anime as well. So it's Food Wars. Food Wars has the same actors in Attack on Titan in there as well. Okay. Very good animes. I got you. I, I appreciate the, the recommendations. Watch Japanese dub though. Do okay. Yeah, I was, I was literally Titan gonna, English. I was gonna yeah. ask you what, what's the proper way to, to do it. Having, I know it is a bit tedious because I know some people want to just be able to watch it, but the delivery on how it's written in Japanese um, is actually a lot more different than how it's interpreted in English. So there okay. will be, you know, an Attack on Titan. Um, and do you know any context for it at all? Attack on Titan? Mm-hmm. I've heard a little bit, but I don't, I don't know if anything is accurate of what my interpretation of what I've right. heard is. Um, I mean, like, the, the basic, like, uh, explanation of it is basically, like, humanity, uh, there's only a little bit left of humanity, so they live within walls, and everything outside the walls are all titans, man-eating titans. Okay, and yeah. It's, it's basically what that's, where it starts off of. Um, and uh, there's, you know, a lot of screaming, a lot of, like, you know, hype. Uh, scenes where you know you're gonna have to go fight titans and all this stuff and uh, some of the like the the blood curdling like painful screams are not translated very well in English just because we don't have those vowel sounds we don't really use those vowel sounds so mm-hmm. which is why I highly always recommend watching it with Japanese dub okay sounds good all right <laughs> Uh, I appreciate everything, and um, yeah, I think I think that's the end of it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace out.